felt so guilty, you know, like, like he did everything for me, and I didn't do anything for him. And then one day I realized I did the greatest thing for him before he died. I was there with him, and I held his hand and said goodbye. Says part of the movie. <laughs> the book, it was a gloomy day today. It was raining all day yesterday. The sun is finally peeking through that little bit of cloud. But it will be cloudy yet again. I am going to close the curtains because when the sun does come in here, it's really, really, really bright. And I want to show you something. Okay, I turned off the movie. I am on a karate kick movie marathon today. I have Matthew on the couch because I took him out of the car seat just for a second. I have Carly here, Rebecca here, and I did some pictures with them yesterday. They were looking at Jerrica. I borrowed her, her blankets. <laughs> but, oh, she was... She was cute looking at these two. Aww. I put them in jammies last night. It was so cold in here. And I refuse to turn on the heat, you guys. I refuse to turn on the heat. However, I do have a fireplace on in the bedroom, like the fake one. Uh, sorry about that. I have Carissa here looking so beautiful yet so cold. So I want to put new clothes on her. I have Danielle here. She is looking so cute. And I love this outfit so much, but um, I need to change it. And I'll tell you why in a second. And I have Bryn looking beautiful up there. Her eyes look dark on camera, but her eyes are actually like a blue. Can't really see. <clears throat> but what I need to do is I have some Q-tips here, some water from the bathroom, just in a bathroom cup. And um, I need to dust out their eyes and maybe along their mouth and their ears. Because they were on display in my bedroom for a while now. They're the... Like, everybody I display, like, who I have display, like, for instance, don't mind the mess. <laughs> but, see, I normally keep a blanket on everyone. So, I have Megan in there, and I have the two boys in there, and I keep a blanket over them. And same, whoever I have in the car seat, I'll cover up with a blanket, because I don't want the sun, like, directly on them during the day when I'm not here. Excuse me, but these guys, they were in my room on display, sitting up on my shelf, and I need to dust them. And I would really love to change their outfits. So I'll put you on the tripod. That's what I use. I just have a, a regular tripod, and I put on... One of these. Um, this is from Avon, and it's a uh, it's a little tripod, but you can bend their their feet. I don't want to take it off because it's on there pretty good, but you can wrap it around anything you want. So and then this goes up, so you can put a tablet in here too. It goes up to that pretty high. So that's what I do for my tripod. So, anyways, I will show you how I take off their dust and everything and change them into clothes so stay tuned for that guys just a sec please and i'll set you up 
So hey guys, thought I'd have you up on my tripod and I should have blew my nose before. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I have been suffering my bronchitis this year has been really, really, really awful. It knocked me down really hard this year. And I'm still not a hundred percent recovered, but <clears throat> I am pretty much though like I had seen 98, <laughs> if that's such a number. So, I have Cobrissa here, and I'm just going to go under this blanket. Um, so, like I said, I just have a bathroom cup. I do buy these. <laughs> Francis gets mad at me for buying these all the time because he says they're a waste of money. But, um... I like them because when you have sons in the house that drink a lot of water and they don't reuse their cups all the time, like they're, I get plastic cups for them. I know they're getting older now, but they're getting, like my youngest now is nine, but I've always had plastic cups and I don't know what it is. And I admit when I was a kid, I used to do the same thing. I would use a glass maybe twice and then get a new glass and use it maybe once or twice and get a new glass and same thing, same thing. So I ended up buying these bathroom cups because that way I don't have to worry about putting a ton of plastic cups into the dishwasher. Although, to be honest now, I make the kids wash their own glasses because they go through so many of them every day. So... They're old enough now, they can wash their own cups. So I just have these Q-tips here, and just a Kleenex to keep them, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> the Kleenex is just to hold the Q-tips on. But um, here's Carissa. Now, I don't know, you can't see this very well, but she does have dust on her eyes, and probably in here. Because I've had her on, and same with this, this shirt might be a little dusty, so I will change them. But first I'll take this off of her. And I did bring up a new outfit for her to wear. So, I'll do that. But yeah, um... There, I think there's a stomach flu going around at the school as well. Oh awful this year for well every year it seems to have something always and there's no way to avoid it like you try and wash your hands all the time and then your hands get so dry and crackly and they think I barely had cut this open because it was so dry from washing my hands all the time at school <clears throat> so, yeah, it's been a rough year health-wise, really rough, but um, I'm so happy that summer is just around the corner. This looks huge on her. <laughs> and she still has one of these. You see, I don't see any stain on her at all. I know some people are worried about the staining. I used to put the Wonder Wafer like inside of the body, but if I didn't, after a while, because I picked them up so much and cuddled them that they manipulate around and then, and then I get, end up getting this, like I feel it in my own, like in their body. It's like, oh, what's that sharp thing? Oh yeah, it's this. <laughs> so I just keep it in my diaper and, oops, <laughs> she's really flexible. Um, I don't see any staining or nothing. So far, and it's been, I've been collecting since 2015, so, although, sorry, I should have talked about this part. I've been using Wonder Wafers now for well over a year in them, like this. I used to put real powder on them, but I don't do that. I think what I'll do is I'll just go like this, just to make it look a little more realistic. Um, 
here comes the sun. It's getting brighter in here. Okay, so what I do is I just take my water and dip my Q-tip in. And just go over their eyes. Now I've done this before in videos, but... And then I use dry end and just try it off. Oh, her eyes look way better. Yay, they're all clear again, like looking real. The sun is so dusty, I can see it. Oh, that looks ton better. Yay! So these are like the real German glass eyes, which the glass eyes are a lot more realistic than the vinyl. So, yay! Oh, you look so beautiful. Here, I should keep up on them more often. I'm just going to dust in here using the Q-tip. This is the dry part. And normally I would, um, I used a, wa a baby washcloth before with water on it and just go through there. But, they, like, well, not so much Carissa here, but if they're wearing clothes, then I'm not going to worry about the creases. But Carissa here hasn't been wearing any real clothes, so I will go through her creases like this. But only because she's on display. But yeah, I just, I don't really need to do a full um, wash of them. Just, I just want to take off some of the dust. That's all. Nothing huge. But mostly their eyes is what I'm worried about. And like around here with her mouth. And their ears. If there's any in there. So you can't see. Yeah, I'll do this side where you can't see. See all that dust? I don't know what you can see. I oh, don't know, I totally <laughs> can't tell if you saw anything or not, but see all that dust? Yeah. So I'll grab a new Q-tip and wet it. But yeah, her eyes were, I think it's mostly from their eyes. Because that's where a lot of the... Dust. So yeah, I can't wait to get back to the land. Look at these guys. I can't wait to get the camper home in the land. That'll be a real good one. So Carissa here is the April kit by Natalie Blick. And I'm starting to really like her sculpts. Like, I know I love, I love Laura Lee Eagles and Barney Brown. Cassie Brace is pretty good too, but Natalie Blick. <sighs> wow, I like it. I love her hair. I'm not sure who reborn her because I thought it was somebody, like, from... Like, I purchased her used from uh, Candy Love Sparkle, and she bought it. I thought she bought it new from somebody, but apparently she bought it used, too, from somebody. I think. Because her kit is kind of... Like... I looked up... Like, when I buy Reborns, like, used, I'm talking about, um, or new... But mostly on the used side. I always look up the price of their kit. Like still brand new to the, the day that I decide to buy them. And if they're still on the really expensive side. 
then I know I'm getting a deal. But if they're, if the kit now is on sale, then the reborn itself buying at that time wouldn't be such like it's hard to explain. But I always try and buy reborns that are for a good price. Um, I've paid overpaid for dolls before, and it's not fun when you realize that fact. So to be able to purchase a reborn for a good price and knowing what they're worth is is what I like to do. I always make sure how much they're worth, like the blank kit. So her blank kit was still like really expensive on the expensive side. So, and I don't look at Bountiful Baby, I look at McPherson's site. So, <clears throat> because <clears throat> McPherson's is in Canada and they are in US prices, pricing, but only because most of their customers are from the States and their supplies that come in are from the States as well. But they are in Canada, so I don't have to worry about, like if I order a blank kit, I don't have to worry about um, import charges or, or huge giant shipping costs. So that's what I like. Anyways, so I looked at McPherson's for her price of the April kit by Natalie Bertrand. It's still pretty expensive, it's still pretty high up there. So that means she can't be that old, like that old of a kit. So, but I think I'm her third owner, but whoever reborn her did a wonderful job. And like I said, I thought it was somebody, but it wasn't because she, because I contacted her, we, we contacted each other. <laughs> Sorry, I sound like I'm mumbling, but um, she says she didn't reborn her, so I don't know why. And I know that um, Canelo Sparkle reweighted her. I know that for sure. But she didn't paint her. But whoever painted her did a wonderful job. Wow. So she's beautifully done. Like, rooted hair with painted. Wonderful. Oh, I think Erin's, uh, like Canelo Sparkle said, she added more hair on the top, I think. If I remember, I can't remember now, it's been a while. But I love her. Oh, especially now that her eyes are so, so more realistic. Love it. So anyways, what I have for her, because it's so cold outside, I thought that she would look good in this onesie with these pants. And... It comes with this sweater, hooded sweater. So I just thought I'd see what it looks like. So, but yeah, this year for the school year has been really rough for me be getting sick. And that bronchitis, wow, it like totally hit me. Like normally I, like all these years I used to just have like the flu or excuse me at worst the flu <clears throat> but colds and stuff like that but this year that bronchitis really just gets your lungs and the kids notice me sweating too because I do go to work well I try not to go to go to work when I'm still sick because I don't want to spread a whole bunch of germs, but I mean, I, I hate taking time off work so much time. So if I feel well and I'm not overly contagious, oh, she looks beautiful in black, then um, I'll go to work and the kids know me sweating. Come here, you're sweating. And I'm like, yeah, I'm still a bit sick. But that's why I wash my hands continuously and then they get so dry and cracking and bleeding and uh, uh, she looks beautiful. Yeah. The only socks, the white socks I have, kinda on the big side, but that's all I have for now. I can't wait to go to the city for, we always go to the city down south where Wendy is from and 
So yeah, I can't wait to go down and see her again and hang out again like we did. I told her this year we should film more. It's just like it, I get shy. So I don't know why I get shy when I take out the camera around people. I, I just do that. I don't know. Like even talking to you guys. Like right now I'm fine. I'm by myself. Um, one of my sons is at a sleepover. The other son is at his dad's and my other son is still sleeping. And I don't mind talking around them because I'm used to it. Like, happy Sunday. Like, you know, the introduction. And I'm getting used to it around Francis too. <clears throat> but I don't know why. Like, Wendy is another YouTuber. Like, why am I shy talking around her? <laughs> it's funny. But that's how it is. So hopefully this year I'll get over that shyness a bit, that intimidation, and film more with her because it'll be awesome to do some collab videos with her. Especially now that a lot of our subscribers and audience knows that Wendy and I are from the same area and that we are friends. Now that more and more people are starting to know who we are. Oh. She's cute in this thing. <laughs> Thanks, Carissa. Here. Thank you for hitting. Oh. It fits her. This is a size three months. So. Yay. Aw. <laughs> She's cute. Oh, I love her. You're cute. Hey, cutie. Cutie Carissa. Okay, next I'll take Danielle. Oh, Now this outfit, I was going like this. And yeah, I got, it got pretty dusty. This thing attracts, this material attracts dust. So... I will take it off and put it in the laundry pile, the baby laundry pile that I have. I'll keep it separated from ours. Okay, my lasers. Act up. I'm gonna try, I think I'm going to move you to the couch because my legs are really hurting. So, yeah. I'm going to move you to the couch. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm just on the couch. My feet fell asleep. <laughs> I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here and get her outfit that I want to put on her. Get those Q-tips. I should actually throw these two out. I didn't realize how dirty, how dirty um Carissa was. Okay, I'm just going to keep on talking and move to way back here. I'll be right back. I'm just going to the washroom and get some more Q-tips. This is where we keep them. Well, No one really maintains them as we're home. Okay. Oh, my legs are still hurting a bit. <laughs> I'm getting old. Okay. Go on my knees. Oh, she's a kid. Yeah, I can tell it's getting a little dirty. And now. So what I want for Chris or Danielle is I love this outfit on her. Comes with booties, a bonnet, and this this outfit. I love it on her. It fits her perfectly. And this. 
so that's what I want on her. I've had it on her before and I love it. She looks beautiful in it. I love picking her up in it. I don't know why it just feels perfect on her. She's got these huge chunky legs. <clears throat> so, just take this off. So, I've been thinking about going through my pacifiers and making a bit like a modified, not magnetic modified, but modified for my Sailor Rose, which is Avery Kelly. I call her Avery. And my, um, the kit I just got, what was it? Oh, my Sansa kit, <laughs> Jerrica. Um, she can have like a, a pacifier that's not magnetized and I have one more who else has that little open one there's one more I can't remember who it is I'll just look around um I can't there's one more one more baby I have that can hold like a, a pacifier without magnetizing it, just cutting it. So I'll leave this on her for a Q-tip. And I've been hitting some water. Hopefully not her eyes. Oh yeah, no. Our lashes got a little dusty too. Oh, she loves to lie better. She looks beautiful. Doing hair. And there was one more baby out on display, but I don't have him right now. And that's my Caden, my Elif kid. But I thought I would just do him off camera. Three babies is quite a lot. So yeah, I always have the four out on display, like out. All the other babies I have are under blankets. Oh, except for Poppy. I, I do have Poppy out. But she's not dusty yet. Where is... She's not that dusty. She's a little bit. She grabbed another one. Yeah, she was dusty. She, I did a video on. There was a tag going around with thirty questions. Um, reruns with Nicole I, or something. Sorry, Nicole, I forgot your channel name. But I've done it, but I had to, I took it down. It was just way too long. Well, actually, um, it got, I was editing it and it got deleted. And, like, I could have, I could have left it, but... Like, I mean, re leave it on there, but then I accidentally deleted it and I didn't feel like uploading it all over again. It was really too long. And so I think I was talking about something else too. I can't remember what it was now, but man, I don't, I don't know if I want to share that much. I mean, personal stuff. Like, I can't remember what it was about. But I thought, stick to the question, stick to the point, and don't ramble on. I just rambled on way too much in that video. I mean, I always ramble. But, I love how she has this. Mwah. 
It's a little dark and hole right here. I love it. Okay. She's skinny in here. I'm wondering if I want to add a bit more fluff because I picked her up so many times. Because I love holding her. She's so cuddly that she's getting squished. The, like the stuffing, the polyfill is getting all skinny and tight. So I'm wondering if I should add a bit more. One of these days, not today. Why are you so cute? Beautiful. Okay, at first I used to think, do these go in the front or the back? Because it would be cute if she had a little bow in the back. But they are in the front because if I look at this part, then seeing how the leg goes, I know that this is the front. What I'll do. I might not do um, Mika uh, Bryn. I almost call her Michaela. It's Bryn Michaela. I think I won't do her on camera because I'm just taking too long. I can't wait to get to regular videos again. Although, I'll show you what I wanted to put on her. On Bryn, I was thinking of this uh, vintage Winnie the Pooh outfit. And um, I had this on my Avery Kelly before, and it fits her perfectly. But I want to see how it would look on the Saskia. Because she's also on the tall side. So, and then I thought, well, because it has this little hint of pink in there. I thought for her hat, because she looks gorgeous in the hat, I think. And I received this recently from um, a package. Not I paid for it, but she threw this in for a freebie, which was really nice of her. And it comes with these little booties. So I thought that would look really cute with this, because these two pinks match really well. So maybe I'll show that. I'll change her off camera and then just show her later. It's just I feel like this video is like taking forever. So. I haven't even had time to watch many YouTube videos, which is kind of. Oh, I love her in this outfit. I love how she feels too. This fits her perfectly. Perfectly. And I've been feeling really tired lately. But you know what? I'm tired of taking painkillers and cough drops and cold medications. Ugh. And I know there are other ways of, like, instead of taking all these medicines, you could take, like, you know, tea with honey or whatever. Things like that. But I don't have time to make myself hardly anything, really. I mean, I wake up so early in the morning, and I'm so tired as it is, and then I go to work, still tired. Um, if I'm riding with coworkers, then I sometimes sleep on the way to work, because it takes an hour and 20 minutes to drive to work. And then I'm at work with my kids. I come home. Normally, it's been a little late, because the roads are so horrible, and... Um, I have to cook supper and then eat supper and then dishes and because our dishwasher is now down so we've been doing dishes lately and I'm exhausted by 7.30 I'm just in jammies just trying to relax I watch 
try and watch some videos and go on like you know um i'm part of a reborn group on facebook so i love interacting with people on there and then um i'm done and then i have to go to bed i'm just exhausted so my days have been really busy and tiring especially when you're sick so but i'm going to put this on her her hair is kind of milky uh, but i don't mind cats on them if like on these guys because that way their hair is a little protected at least because i don't cover them up I kind of wish that this thing could like stay this way, but it keeps wanting to go back on me. And I can't really flip it. I thought about flipping it, but then that's inside out. But I wish that, you know, if there's a string, like if this string was coming out from this side, it would stay. But, oh well. She still looks really cute in it. <laughs> but I wish it could stay like this. Cause yeah, like if she had a string pulling on her here, it would stay. I have a little, a little pin there or something. <laughs> oh, this is good. You're cute. <laughs> I don't know what you guys can see. She is cute. I'll pick it up. Put it up here. Oh, <laughs> she is cute. Cute, so I'll put her over here with Matthew on the foot. Oh, she's cute. I can't get over it. How much time? Oh, this video is long. But I will just show you Flynn quickly what she's wearing now because I think what she's wearing now is like really, really cute too. I love this outfit on her. And I love how that hat looks on her. This is one of the hats I got from Kelly. Now her hair is all wild. Aw, she's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. But I wish she could see her real eye color. It's kind of like a bluish something but anyways i will change her quickly off camera and show you what she looks like and yeah and then end this video upload it and get it ready for youtube okay just a sec guys so hey guys i have her changed and it fits her really well i love it uh the hat is a little bit small <laughs> i wish it was down lower but um, she still looks really beautiful in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a little small on her. I think I'll take it off and do her hair properly. So I did dust her and she had a lot of dust in her eyes. But they look beautiful again now. And uh, this outfit fits her perfectly. I'm so happy. And these booties fit her really good. So I don't know, maybe I will keep on the hat. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think, is it, I think it's a little bit small, but it still works a bit. And here is Carissa right beside her. Oh, she looks so cute. And her eyes are also, like, perfectly dusted. Beautiful. And Danielle is... 
all dusted and cleaned up. Oh, I see a spot I missed right there. I'll have to get it after some dust that went up. But she looks still very beautiful. And I love her in that outfit. So, I don't know why I feel like I'm out of breath. Oh my goodness. But, um, thank you so much for watching. And all of these guys, I'm going to love them all up all over again. I love it when... They all seem like so fresh again. <laughs> I love it. Kind of like that baby coming out of the bath. Just love it. So, anyways, guys, I hope that you have a great Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. This is Brenda from my Wee Reborn's Cradle. And until next time, I can't wait to do more and more videos with you guys. Bye for now. Love you guys. Bye. See you soon.